Hello everyone, in this OpenCV and Python tutorial we explain number one how to capture a video from a camera or web camera in OpenCV and Python. Number two, how to save a captured camera video to a file in OpenCV and Python. We explain how to save the recorded video in popular video formats such as AVI and MP4. Currently, we are capturing camera frames, displaying them on the computer screen and saving them in real time. Now, if I press C on my keyboard, the recording process will stop and a video file will be produced that can later on be played. Let's do that. Okay, I press C. And here's our file. Here it is. Looks perfect. But before I start with the explanations, I need to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial, as well as more than 450 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's start with the explanations. The first step is to import the OpenCV library. We do it like this. Next, we need to create a video capture object. The video capture object will be used to record images. To create the video capture objects, we type CV2 and then we type video capture. Over here as an input of this function, we specify the index of our camera device. In my case, since I only have a single camera attached to my computer, the index will be zero. This function returns a video capture object and I will call it camera. The next step is to double check if we are able to open the camera. We do it like this. If camera and then we call this method is opened. If this is true, we will print a message. For example, we can print out the camera is successfully opened. Okay, if the camera is not successfully opened, we need to handle that case. So we will write down print could not open the camera. Okay. To be able to record the frames and to save them to a file, we need to get important information from our camera. We need to get the width, the height and the frame rate of our camera. So here it is. To get the frame width, we call this method get and we specify this flag. To get the frame height, again, we call the method get and we specify the frame height as a flag. And finally, to get the frame rate, we call this method and we specify the flag that we want to retrieve. That is the frame rate. Okay, so let's execute this code and let's see the outputs. We can see that the camera is successfully opened. So let's see the frame width. Okay, 640 by 480. And the frame rate of my web camera is 30. Okay. The next thing we need to do is to specify the video properties and to create a video writer object. We do it like this. First of all, we need to specify the desired video codec. To do that, we need to use this function, video writer 4cc, and we need to specify the so-called 4cc code. A 4cc code is a 4-byte code specifying the codec. For AVI files, we used these bytes. That is, this is the code, or this one. And I tested these two codecs, and they work perfectly in Windows. On the other hand, for MP4 files, we use this code. Also, I tested this code and it works in Windows. So in my case over here, I will use this code since I want to produce the AVI file. Next, we specify the video file name. Here it is. Then I define this tuple specifying the recorded video dimensions. 
I specify the frame width and the frame height and to remind you the frame width and the frame height are extracted from our camera. And finally over here I create a video writer object. As the first input of this constructor function I specify the video file name, the second input is the 4cc code, the third input is the frame rate and the last input is the video dimension. This function also has some additional input values, however I will use the default values in order to make this video as short as possible. Next, let's learn how to grab frames from the camera and how to save them in a file. Here is the while loop that I wrote that will perform these tasks. First of all, we capture the frame by using this function, camera.read. And to remind you, the camera is actually defined at the beginning of this code. That is, it's defined over here. It's a video capture object. This function will return two outputs. This first output will be a Boolean variable that will indicate the success or failure. And the second output is the most important, and that's actually our frame. Our frame is an OpenCV NumPy array defining the image. So over here, if I'm not succeeding in retrieving the frame, I'm printing the message. Then over here, I display the camera image by using the function image show. The title of the window for displaying, displaying the images, that is the frame, will be called camera video and the second input of this function is our actual image, that is our frame. After that, I'm calling this function dot write and I'm specifying the frame as an input. So over here, I'm just continuously saving the frames to the corresponding file and the file name is recorded video.avi. Now, over here, I'm having a simple block that will help me to stop the recording process. Namely, if the user presses the keyboard key C, the recording process will stop and the saving process will stop. And finally, the while loop will end. Finally, I release the capture, release the windows and I close everything. Okay, so let's test this code. First of all, make, your, make sure that your camera is attached to your computer and let's run this. Okay, and here it is. Here is the video that's recorded in real time. Looks good. Okay, so let's close the window press C over here and the process will stop. Finally, let's find the saved file. As you can see over here, the file is saved in this folder. And let me go back to that folder. Here it is and here's the file. Finally, let's play the file. And here it is. This is our recorded video. Before I conclude this video tutorial, I would like to show you one additional important thing. That is, I will explain you how to save the video as the mp4 file. To do that, we first need to change the codec. That is, we need to use this codec. And then, we need to specify the file name. Here it is. Okay, we are just changing the extension. Now again, we can run the code. And let's record the video. Here's the video. Then, let's press C. Here's our MP4 file. Let's try to open this file. And as you can see over here, we are not able to open this file by using the standard media player on a Windows machine. To open this file, you will actually need to install another player. And the name of this player is VLC Media Player. And by using this player, we can open the mp4 files. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot.